Everyone knows the people who are on this show are truly its biggest fans. And of those fans, the like the hardest core super fans are you three. That's why you're here today. And, you know, that's just how it is. You're you're there for every stream. You're there, you know, throwing us likes on Twitter. You're I love you've, Twitter. You've you've seen every episode at least once. You can quote all the good bits. Have a tier one subscription on Twitch. Yeah, that's right. Uh, and so I decided we we're gonna have a uh, a showdown of who knows this show the best. Oh fuck! <laughs> <laughs> so sweet. Obviously, it would be cheating to offer questions about like episodes you had been on. Uh, but we've got a good log backlog now. I think we, depending how you count it, about twenty five episodes to choose from. So I've gone into some episodes that none of you have been on, and. We're going to see how much you remember from these things that you've definitely seen, shared with your friends, yeah. um, well, I'm given not, me positive feedback for. Yeah, I'm not like narcissistic. I don't watch the episodes I'm in. I yeah, just, that'd, I just that'd be weird. Ones, yeah. 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 <laughs> All right. So here's what I think we'll do is um, we'll, last time I felt like leaving the, the counting to the end was a bit like, a bit lopsided. So all of you will write down your answer and then you'll like reveal at the same time. You could even reveal the camera if you want with a piece of paper and yeah. And then we'll do like a running tally of the score. Sounds great. All right. Last question. We write reveal. Tally. Yeah. Cool. I win. So you think you're going to win. I, I, I know. <laughs> gonna, you gonna must win. be pretty good at yeah. this. Yeah. He's got a memory like comp. a steel trap. That's right. Nothing Jeez. in, nothing out. <laughs> <laughs> His memory is as sharp as his eyes. <laughs> That's right. All right. So, question one. This is about a character that I played, Angina Pectoris. Mm. All right. In the story arc spanning episodes three to five, what is the name of Angina Pectoris's ventriloquist dummy? Is it A, endo, B, recto, C, procto, or D, colon? Like C O L I N, like Colin Powell. Colin Powell. Yeah. Mm. Can I hear those one more time? Yeah. Well, you can't read the screen. Mm? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey, actually, you know it, what? I, fuck it. I, I got it. A, I cannot read the screen. You've, you're good. Yeah. I'm sure. Okay. What is C? A. Endo. No. no just B, what is C? What recto. Is C? No. I'm doing the whole list. Oh my god. Okay. A. Endo. B. Recto. You. C. Procto. Or D. Colon. Well, I watched this episode so many times. Version of two two different names. Isn't it weird how when you watch a thing so many times, it blurs together in a way that you actually forget it? Yeah, yeah. that happens to me a lot. Like right now, <laughs> <laughs> I'm locked in. I'm, you're all locked I'm, in. I'm ready. Same. I'm ready. All right, let's reveal it. I wrote it really small. <laughs> I don't think that's gonna work. No, it's well, it's super poorly lit. I'm just gonna tell you the correct answer, and you react accordingly. Okay. Uh, the correct answer was endo. Oh. Uh, Woo! I'm just kidding. I wrote Procto. I wrote Procto too. I wrote Recto. I was like, what's the most inappropriate name here? I would never. Surely Kelly would pick that one. <laughs> it was just Endo? It was Endo. Just endo, the ventriloquist dummy. Hmm. Oh, because he's like, you, I guess that makes sense because you put your yeah. hand inside. I thought Procto because you're like, proc Proctologist. Proc yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. those are That'd all. That'd be pretty good. I feel like you could have Endo and Procto and they could be like, you know, a brother brother duo. That is right. We should bring them back that character. We'll we'll bring in a, a sibling. All right. All right. I'm Question right. two. So in episode eleven, the Stevedores Union, uh, we improvised a whole bunch of segments. Which of these was not improvised in that episode? A compliments corner. B David's enemy corner. C Weeb Dreams or D the Holiday Zone. Put your pen up to your nose when you're to indicate. No, like put it in your nose to indicate you're done. No, you're not done. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. I don't see. See, he's oh, got sorry. Oh. All right. Uh the answer was C Weeb Dreams. Man. I would never allow such a segment. You wouldn't? No. Are you a weeb too? No. Oh, oh no. Are this is upsetting our balance. No one is. 
Uh, no. Yeah. Oh. None of us are black. Of- <laughs> oh my god! Please tell this story because that was so fucking. Funny. What? What? <laughs> so <laughs> I, I was under the impression that a weeb was not just someone who was like really into anime, but they had to be black as well. And this is just based on the fact that in high school we had we only had like two weebs, but they were both the uh, black dudes, and they're like, oh man, <laughs> like the weebs are like Naruto running again. <laughs> like, so were you just quietly like wow they're so racist i was like guys. wow this is a very specific term for like black guys who are into anime hmm. so yeah and then it just like recently came up and he told me and i was like wow that, i'm glad you found out that with me <laughs> Not- wait when did how recently did you find this out <laughs> like days oh, ago. like days ago because <laughs> i i don't know much about anime at all or any of that stuff so i feel so, like uh we- in previous times <laughs> yeah. doing this show we called you like a weeb right then and there and you were just kind of like wow they should bleed that out <laughs> <laughs> i was like i was kind of confused about it but i was like maybe there's something to this i don't understand but and turns out it was true hmm. question three in episode 19 a flow state of torturing santa how is the <laughs> prince of christmas described is it a Oscar Wilde cosplaying as Gerard Way. B. Rowan Atkinson cosplaying as Kaiser Wilhelm II. C. David Bowie cosplaying as a member of Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. Or D. Princess Diana cosplaying as Prince Philip. (laughs) I think I actually know this one. Really? Yeah. I may have used that phrasing more than once. Hmm. Uh, the correct answer was A, Oscar Wilde cosplaying as Gerard Way. Yes. God damn it. Were you wrong? Yeah, I thought it was C. What's C again? David Bowie cosplaying as a member of Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. Yeah. Did you get a single one, right? I have n- I not. Have Have you got one, right? No. No, <laughs> No, but neither of you. <laughs> I've got one, right? That's really bad luck for how much you guys know. I know. Like, yeah. It's just kind of weird. Off day. Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, Unlucky. Question four. Uh, in episode 20, which is the slur we kind of sort of said by accident? Was it A, the A word, B, the G word, C, the Q word, or D, the X word? I actually know what, what this are one. those? Yeah, could yeah, you? Could you yeah. I, don't, I, don't know I mean, you know. I don't, you said I don't it. know. I don't. I the fuck either, is the X no, word? It was said. Oh, of course. You only listened to the censored version yeah. after it was edited. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't even know what letter it started with. <laughs> Wow, it looks like well, I'm the biggest well, fan. You know what? It's <laughs> I've already forgotten what the words are. Those those words kind of just roll off me like water off a duck's back. Yeah, but could you remind me really They're quick? They're not internalized for you. You wouldn't allow that to happen. Uh, the answer was C, the Q word. <laughs> Nailed it. Fuck you. Yeah. That was from like a reading, Sad. wasn't it? It was from a reading, yeah. Came it was it. The, the erotica was racist. It's not me. Yeah. That's why I don't apologize for it. I just apologize for being horrible to people's babies. You can you can bleep that out if we say it though, right? Yeah, I bleeped it out in the original okay. because I uh, under public pressure from Nicole. <laughs> <laughs> and speaking of question five, which show guest was foolish enough to allow Nicole and I to guest on their podcast? Was it a Australian culture podcast, Australian Gothic, in which we discussed Rosaline Norton, a subversive artist who was arrested for obscenity? B. Shipwreck podcast, Beyond the Breakers, in which we discussed the runway airplane fire that killed Stan Rogers. C. Ocean Science podcast, It Came from the Sea, in which we finally learned where eels fucked. (laughs) Or D. Movie trivia podcast, Emily Missed Out, in which we discussed the artistic merits of the movie, A Serbian Film. Oh, Jesus. I mean, I could see you doing any of those, but I think I... Mm. Mm. Oh. Mm. Hmm. Mm. What was C again? Eel fucking. Okay. Mm. All right. Question master. All right. Are we good? <laughs> Correct. We are good. Oh yeah. Sorry. The answer was <laughs> the answer was A. Ah, oh, it changed it from Drat. A to C because I remember there was the eel fucking. I do remember the eel fucking thing too. Well, we did learn where eels fuck. Uh, where it was brought fuck? up. They they fuck in the Sargasso Sea. Sargasso I Sea, like that's the only place in the entire world where yeah. Where eels so will fuck. it's the only fuckable place. 
Yeah, so if I remember correctly, well, like, I mean, I think this is still for some debate is like, are they shy? Are they prudes? Are they like trying to hide their numbers? We don't know. Mm. But from what I understand, they, uh, they basically, the way they figured it out was there was like the only place (laughs) they were finding young eels. Cause it's like a years long journey they do or something. I don't know. The more I talk, the more I'm going to be incorrect. So I'm just going to stop. I don't know why, but I was like the way that they found out, I was like, I think I know. I'm like, yes, they dressed up like a sexy eel. <laughs> and like, Ooh, I'm a pretty lady. Ooh, I'm a pretty eel lady. And I'm ready to fuck. <laughs> do you think the eel would try to mount your fake eel? The fake eel. Oh, you think hmm. it would, it would go for it. Yeah. I think, I think eels are, or did they do the weird mm. thing where they like eject eggs and then the male eel would just like come all over them? <laughs> like they, yeah, like they do like a little bukkake all yeah. over there. We don't know. I mean, now we know apparently, but have they been caught fucking? I don't think so. I think they just <laughs> deduced where the eels fuck. Okay, that was my understanding. That's still very well, mysterious. Uh, yeah, I think sharks are like that too. They don't really know where they fuck as well. I'll we'll have to ask. Question six: Many. Uh, meaning all local breweries have either directly or indirectly declined to be involved with the show. Which brewery fucked me over in that the owner excitedly planned a time to meet me and then ghosted me outside his own brewery? <laughs> wow, this is just a personal, like, yeah. personal question. Just yeah. About a so very I'm, private detail of his incre- life. <laughs> I'm going to smile the whole time so that you can't tell who I'm mad at. Yeah. <laughs> is it A, Polar Park? B, Bent Stick? C, C change, or D, Strathcona Spirits? I think that would be good uh, for the next uh, que- like game show thing, is just ask questions that only I would know the answer to. <laughs> <laughs> like, can All right. Just air in his dirty laundry. Today? Yeah, right. well, this is the great thing about having Shows no audience, is you can actually shit talk anyone, and they'll never know. <laughs> Uh, the answer was A, Polar oh, Park. I knew Fuck it. Polar yeah. Park. I do remember that one. They're, they're, they're you remember of... that? Yes. I don't I remember, remember telling you about that. You're... Sorry? I don't remember telling you about that. No, you told me. Oh. You're mad. <laughs> you're real mad. On this you mean list? you remember from, well, I guess this wasn't even on the show. In this list. Yeah, yeah, I know. It was just like a This question thing. was to see who my best friend is. The oh. question I asked myself yeah, is who yeah. here has a terrible reputation and the answer was Polar Park. Do they? They don't have a great reputation. Really? Yeah. Oh, Let's get into it. Go. It's this is now Adam's enemy corner. No, I think they're just they're 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 not a great venue. You know. I agree. You're top <laughs> reaching the choir here. Not a great venue. I've never even heard of them, honestly. So. Well, now you know why. I thought they were made up. All right. So this is where we're going to pay the clips. So the question is, which former guest is a marine biologist? So I'm going to get you to play those four clips in order. A, Tanner. Um, stay away from Norwegian ships. Uh, that is actually, um, one of my very good friends, uh, Taylor, my co-host, uh, who's chiming in there, um, saying stay away from Norwegian ships. Very good mm-hmm. advice. B, Jesse. Um, you could get a kill by a halibut, I think. They're really, I bet they would be really strong in like a fight if you like put it up next to your head and they just slapped you. Um, really muscly fish like a tuna, like a full... Big ass tuna. I bet they could kill you if they whacked you with the tail. I don't know how that would happen, but if you froze it and then swung it like a sword. Yes. C. Sarah. I feel like we've kind of lost the thread there. I, I'm still not certain what a eels. Fish is. Eels are probably the most sexual and sexy, like classical fish. Okay. Or D. Lucas. Thing. I saw a sleeping gray nurse shark, and that That's was an cute. experience that was. Yeah, that was an experience that I was just like, this is so cool. And like, I was about five meters away from it. The visibility was kind of shit. We sort of saw it emerging out of the fog and we kind of like kneeled on the sand and watched it. Well, like when they sleep, they just hang there. And I was just like, oh my God, I'm so close to a shark. This is so cool. And yeah, that was, that was wonderful. And then I ate a mango at the bottom of the water. You're all good? Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, he's still thinking. I'm thinking. Don't overthink it, but don't underthink it either. (laughs) Yeah, I'm have ready. you tried doing it right? That's probably what I would do. I I usually don't try to do things right. Sure. <laughs> sure. My grandpappy taught me. You good? Mm-hmm. Uh, the correct answer was B. Jesse. Bob. Uh, Bob. That was my second choice. Yeah, who'd you all guess? Uh, C. Sarah. You fucking made me overthink that. Who, who did you guess? Fault. Sarah. Did you all guess Sarah? Yeah. yeah. That's very funny. 
Because uh, she knows thought, about the eels. I saw the eel clip, and I was just like, "Ah, oh, eels, sexy eels." <laughs> this lady yeah. likes eels. She's super into eels. That means yeah. she must be a marine. Wait, yeah. she, said it was she squeals to them. It was Je Jesse, the guy squeals talking about tuna. Eels. Squeals for eels. Yeah. <laughs> huh? Meals, Meal fetish meals on eels. Marine biologist. You know that whole like dolphin uh, marine biologist love affair story, right? That's very Maybe sad. She had that it's with tragic. the eels. Yeah, she was. Pro at giving uh, dolphins hand jobs, I believe, was the thing. It's hot, ultra hot, ultra hot, totally ethical. <laughs> the most ethical type of hand job <laughs> to a dolphin that <laughs> so you're trying to coerce into learning English. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think I know what you want. Maybe you'll learn English now. Hmm. <sighs> Eel fantasy. All right, question eight. In episode 18, Keep Salt Away From This Man's Dick, who did Josie say is her favorite fascist? <laughs> Was it A, Benito Mussolini, Duce of Italian fascism, B, Joseph Goebbels, chief propagandist for the Nazi party, C, Pol Pot, general secretary of the Communist Party of Kampuchea, or D, Napoleon Bonaparte, emperor of the French? Freaking I'm... Which one's most bangable, do you think? Oh. Goebbels is uh, Goebbels kind of gross, large, sweaty it, man. Oh, I'm thinking of someone else, a different Nazi. Hitler was very svelte. Yes, <laughs> very yes, yeah, yeah. He had, he had an interesting mm -hmm. allure in that sense. You good? Oh. oh, okay. No, I'm just asking. I have no idea. Well, no, we have to we have to figure out this first problem. I know. I was trying to. Who's the, the sexiest who is the fascist? Who is the sexiest fascist? That's what we're going to start asking. <laughs> I do who think is the sexiest member fascist. of yeah. the Nazi party? Yes, exactly. And you can't say Goebbels because we've all... <laughs> it's Rommel, obviously. Don't say right? Goebbels. Which one was the one that did all the propaganda stuff? That's, that's Goebbels. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, I'm confusing uh, Goebbels with another guy. Well, stay tuned for our upcoming ranking of all the Nazis from least to most fuckable. <laughs> oh, yes. Gerbils is skinny. <laughs> I like should have Gerbils and I got Mongolian dude. gerbil. I was going to say it. Ooh, gerbil. I'd fuck a Mongolian gerbil. Well, I wouldn't say he's hot. <laughs> <laughs> he has glasses, yeah. No, he's kind of like this dude. Yeah. He's a filmmaker. He's an auteur. Yeah. He made unreproducible works of art. <laughs> yeah. He didn't really give us him. some good choices. I think you're thinking of Rommel, actually. Uh, no, I'm thinking of, uh, I don't know who I'm thinking of. I'd have to look at all the members of the Nazi party's names. And well, let's just wrap off the board. Rommel's, let's all go around the room. The name. And each of you tell me which which fascist in general you would want to fuck. Just of all of them. Mm. Stalin. Oh, yeah. He's got the, young you Stalin the mustache hot. red situation. Have you seen pictures of young Stalin? He's Not really. A very good looking man. Oh, I'll check it out. Oh, young Alex Jones. Oh, he's hot. You would call him a uh, fascist. Oh, What's that movie would. that he's in? Uh, it's like an animated Waking film. Waking Life. Yeah, that's that's such a fucking. Good it was very scene. trippy when I someone was like, "Let me show you this cool rotoscope movie," and I was like, "This dude looks so much like." And Alex then it's Jones. Alex Jones. It just yeah. is Alex Jones. I know. Back I when he was a countercultural hero, because all we knew about him was yeah. that he was like, "Well, this guy criticized George Bush. Mm -hmm. He must be cool." His like. Uh, his delivery like style is just so preachy. It looks like Tomas. Yeah. It's very like Southern preacher. Young Joseph Stalin kind of looks like Tomas. A little Tomas. bit, yeah. He's got a nice look. Oh, you can fuck Kanye West now. He's a fascist. Tomas just, ha he does have a big mustache like that now too. He does, yes. He's working on his young Stalin mustache. Working on my I feel like Stalin. every time we see someone with a big mustache and like, I might, I know. I'm just like, oh, it's Tomas. I know. <laughs> is it? <laughs> Pretty much. Uh, okay, am I, I'm going to guess Mussolini then for, for the... All right, well, then uh, we'll... I thought Mussolini as well. I put Pol Pot. It was Pol Pot. Nice. Pot, she was very emphatic about it. He was a nasty lad. I don't even know what he looks like. I'm Is a he nasty bangable? lad. I'm a he nasty looks lad. looks a lot like Elon Musk. Really? <laughs> yes. Have you seen like the side-by-side -side of it? It's really good. Yeah, you, you're a phone guy. You've committed to the bit. Look it up. You're the phone guy. <laughs> uh, while you're looking that up, question nine. What is the name of the first episode? Is it A, Cancel Quest, B, Gross Peak, C, Gorilla T, or that's T E E, or D, There Are Demons Coming At You and Aliens Trying to Fuck Your Brain and Stuff? That's a wild title if that's yeah. the title. I feel like 
uh, if I was doing like a multiple choice exam, I'd be like, that's a, that's a, that's like, that's a throwaway answer. You know, it's too different than the rest. Mm. But it could be like that thing where I overthink it and it actually is. That. Oh, don't use that end. How many questions is this, by the way? 10. 10? Okay. I was yeah. like, this isn't going to be like 50. the PowerPoint. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> okay. Uh, Goring. And we're gonna we're gonna edit this part out where I go grab a beer because I have to remember what the answer to the next one is. Give me give me a sec. Okay. I was thinking of Herman Goering. He was like notoriously incompetent, and he is oh not a goodness. very pretty looking person. And, and he was one of the Nazis. Yeah. It was probably like a BuzzFeed article that's like top ten. <laughs> I'm gonna look. I'm just gonna straight up look up like sexiest. who is the sexiest fascist. She Wolf of the SS. This is I got a movie poster. Oh, ooh la la! Wait, let me see that again. Jeez. Oh She's wow! Stacked no. milf, right? <laughs> love a stacked. <laughs> love milf. a stacked milf. Damn. How stacked is she? Oh, quite very stacked. quite stacked. Really? Plus, yeah. her shirt is like bursting open, so it like accentuates the her, stackedness. Yeah, but she you she doesn't really need to. It's true. Oh my! Uh, let's rank these ten fascist dictators by hotness. <laughs> Number one, Joseph Stalin. You Told go. you. Yeah, you're really oh. zooming in there. Yeah, well, I needed to see what. Yeah, no. Mm. Hmm. Mm. What's her cup size? Estimate it. Did you say her or your? Her. Oh, that would be a very strange <laughs> question to That's ask funny. somebody. Well, sometimes you ask <laughs> women strange questions. Right? Estimate it right now in front of me. <laughs> uh, I think she is like at least like a double D. Like they sit very high. They do. Yeah. Good for her. Wow, we got like this. This list is very interesting. George Bush made the list. Really? You call him a fascist? Most people. That that's yeah. People. You could call I mean, the tanky's going to be upset. You called Stalin a fascist, but of course. Uh, the answer is a cancel quest. Mm. No. Oh, nice! I got it. Me nice. too. You jealous? I went. I went with the Panic of the Disco length one. Uh, okay, so this question we're going to do a little different. I'm going to ask the question, and Ian is going to give an answer with no prompts. Okay. Just what you think it is. And then I'm going to give the options, and then these two are going to pick which of the four they think it is. Okay. Make sense? Sure. So the question is, how many episodes has Ian been on, including the Christmas slideshow? I just have to guess how many I've been on. Well, I mean, you were literally there. I know. <laughs> uh, <laughs> seven? Seven? Is that your guess? Yes. All right. So the options are A, 5, B, 6, C, 7, or D, 8. Wow, you didn't make it easy. Yeah. There's no, yeah, there's no. It's just a, a range. Hmm. I can tell you guys it could be any of those. <laughs> <laughs> uh... All right. So what were your answers? 8. B. Uh, the correct answer was 8. Eight. Cool. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Did you forget the one where you were a guest? <laughs> did you? Oh, count? I, 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 I <laughs> did. You well, that's very kind. Of, that's very kind of you to say that there was any sort of calculating <laughs> whatsoever. That's really nice. Yeah. Well, I, I'm trying to atone for my sins by being more nice. Yeah. That was really nice. What's the What's the score right now? Uh, I've got three. I have four. I have three as well. All right. Well, Damn, I guess I'm the winner. Mm. Winner, winner. And you won the prize. Ooh. Oh, sick. Fuck. There's a prize. He's gonna get an ethical hand job. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a dolphin. <laughs> oh, sorry. Yeah, damn it. First ethical hand job I ever given. This is cool. Wow. 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 That's, actually, that's actually nice. That is very nice. That's, that's nice. Yeah, well, you know, Merry Christmas. What does an iris taste like? Uh, oh, wait, first. Are they flowers or are they like No, they're the parts of the eyes. They harvest yeah, people's exactly. eyeballs to make that. Wow. Is that that's why they're blue? They only harvested the, them from blue, pure yeah. blood Aryans. Back to our uh, Nazi themes. Yeah. This was earlier. Hitler's favorite uh, spirit. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that was actually from his bunker. It's been unopened <laughs> since the 40s. Amazing. It's the one that... Magellan, it's what turned him evil Magellan in the first place. Or, uh, gin, yeah. He turned evil by not drinking gin. Yeah, that's right. By saving it for too long. Interesting, he would choose a French gin. That's yeah. why he invaded France, to get mm. more. Oh, yeah. Yeah.